Hi, welcome to what's happening here at the Top 5 Stories. At number 1, the federal government is considering returning the 27.5 trillion Naira 2024 appropriation bill to the National Assembly to increase its size if there is an increase in revenue, according to the Finance Minister, Wale Edun. Edun stated that due to the significant improvements in the economy, the government may return to appropriate additional revenue. He emphasized the need for fiscal policy in tax reform, coupled with digitalization, to enhance revenue collection efficiency. The government aims to expedite the procurement process to boost capital spending in the 2024 budget. At number two, the federal government is expecting to generate 298.486 billion naira from privatizing government assets in 2024 a 44.8% increase from the previous year. Professor Uche Owaleke advocates for transparency in privatization by listing assets on the stock exchange, emphasizing the benefits to a wider population. He highlights the potential for market capitalization growth and the capital market's role in financing infrastructure. Owaleke urges caution in domestic borrowing to avoid crowding out the private sector. At number three, the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, has warned of potential strikes in 2024 due to insufficient budget allocations and poor remuneration in the education sector. ASU expressed disappointment with the 7.9 budget allocation to education, emphasizing President Bolotinibu's campaign promise to increase it to at least 15%. The union highlighted Nigeria's low remuneration for professors globally and urged the government to meet promises to avoid disruptions in the education sector, as well also called for increased salaries, settlement of arrears, and better working conditions to address the brain drain and retain lecturers. At number four, the federal government is considering collaborating with the World Bank to secure financing and technical support for developing Nigeria's mining sector according to the Minister of Solid Minerals Development, Dr. Dele Alike. World Bank Country Director for Nigeria, Shubham Chaudhuri, expressed satisfaction with the renewed focus on mineral resources development in Nigeria. The bank is ready to partner with the ministry to unlock financing for specific intervention areas and provide technical assistance for improving mining operations. The minister emphasized the priority of investing in exploration to generate geodata and establish efficient governance structures for the mining sector. At number five, Napoli striker Victor Osimen has been awarded the Men's African Player of the Year at the 2023 CAF Awards. Osimen's outstanding performance, including scoring 31 goals to help Napoli win the Serie A title, earned him the accolade, surpassing Mohamed Salah's and Achav Hakimi's competition. His achievements also led to an 8th place finish in the Ballon d'Or. Asisat Oshuala won the Women's African Player of the Year, while Nigeria's Chamaka Nadozie received the Women's Best Goalkeeper of the Year award. The Nigerian Women's National Team Super Falcons also won the Best Women's National Team of the Year. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening. <music>